Now, this right here I'm about to show you is very important, but yeah, pretty much overlooked in the market. Now, what exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about risk management. Now, here's what I'm saying. You can literally have three losing trades, and with just one trade, you can still get back into profit. Now, one thing we need to understand is that whenever we are actually placing a trade, we're actually exposing ourselves to some level of risk. Now, the level of risk actually depends on the pips of the market, where we decide to keep our stop loss, and the lot size we use. Now, if you go on trading view and tap into the long or short position it will bring this right here to show you your risk to reward ratio in which green meaning profit and red meaning now loss. just like i said your risk in the market is influenced by three things which is what you set as your lot size where you decide where your stop loss is going to be and also the pips of the market now with all these things i just mentioned you have total control over all of them well except the pips in the market but anyway you can still select the currencies you trade so inversely you can control the pip per move if you want to get in the market now the most important thing here is actually control because you can't manage what you can't control and that brings us to another question which is what's your risk tolerance now risk tolerance is how much you're willing to lose in order to make a profit now this is something very normal as the normal saying no pain no gain now even at that we still need to take calculated risk but what do i mean by calculated risk now let's say i have a hundred dollars and i'm trying to make a profit of five dollars now in order for me to take this trade i have to risk one percent of my account now if this trade goes in my direction i'll make a profit of five dollars and if it doesn't i only lose a dollar and this is exactly what I'm trying to say taking calculated risk now for you to even get risk to reward ratios like from one is to three this is not something that will be in every trade it actually depends on a lot of things some things like the market movements what session of the market are you trading and where are you going to be keeping your stop loss this all depends whether you're going to get like a very high risk to reward ratios one of the easiest way that you can get like one is to three risk to reward ratios is actually during consolidations in the market but the only problem is this is that you have to know when the market have already gone into consolidation edition and know where price is mostly reacting to so let's use this point right here in the market we could actually see that you know price was mostly reacting to you know this part in the market is, is quite clear we're not able to see like a candlestick you know passing this point all we're seeing is just you know weeks 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 and all of that now that's actually for this first part here right here in the market and we have to draw like the down part of the market now we can clearly see where the consolidation is in the market because we have already drawn in like you know the resistance of the market and the support of the market so it's kind of like a you know a clear path from here okay so let's say we were to take a short position in the market we've normally seen price you know reacting to this point in the market so if we were to take like a short position in the market we'll just wait for price to react to this um resistance right here as you can see from this green candle right here since price is mostly reacting to this area i keep our take profit at this point right here in the market which is like a very good trade like a very small stop loss for a good amount of profit but another thing don't try to get to like free and maybe keep your stop loss you know above resistance or below support or anything you might actually get your stop loss here because you don't know when this consolidation might stop and you know whenever consolidations are over um you tend to see like a very big breakout in the market now if you're someone like me that wants to target all these trades in the free market there are still some things that you need to apply just to make sure you know you're getting everything right now the first thing is make sure whatever pair you're trading you know you're actually in the right session of you know the market you're in the right session of the market because you can't be expecting like one is to three or one is to four or one is to five in Asian session when you're trading GBP ESD, and that's one thing you really need to consider because you cannot be trading GBP ESD during the Asian session because these are actually New York session pairs and London session pairs. Now, in order for us to get like a very good risk to reward ratio during the free market, whether the market is moving up or the market is moving down, we obviously need to have a strategy because we can't be guessing where the market will go to and start hoping that we get one is to three or one is to four or one is to two uh that doesn't happen that's actually the very easiest way to feel so you need to have a strategy and that's what i'm about to show you guys right here now if you guys know the two major directions that you can use to make the most amount of money in the market is either the market is actually moving in an uptrend or the market is moving in a downtrend now i want to break this in the simplest way possible now whenever a market is actually in a trend it actually has a push phase retracement push phase retracement and so on and so forth now this is the most common way that the market actually moves now it's not every single time that whenever the market is moving an uptrend it just have this special movement 
and when price is in the downturn it has a special movement no it's not actually always like this now one of my goals for this year is to spend less and make more and with the broker i use vantage market that's going to be very easy now if you're wondering how that's possible with vantage market you can pay the lowest spread get fast withdrawals and deposits trade multiple assets like forex crypto stocks commodities name it the got it so if you want to enjoy all of these things i've just mentioned so go ahead and click the link in the description of this video and create your own trading account now this is the market right here now if i were to actually watch the direction of this market i'm pretty sure like most of your answer will be downtrend because if you look at the overall direction of the market you could see that the market is majorly you know going down on this point right here now what about if we are at this starting point of the market and we are still able to know what's going to happen at the rest of this part of the market now let me show you guys what we're going to be working with so what we're going to be working with right here is two moving averages so you can just type that out already i have it on here now for those that have already been watching the channel i'm going to show you guys a little bit of a twist right here what you want to do is that you want to come to one of this part one of the moving averages right here go to the settings um and what you need to change this is to the 25 moving average oh my god i put 925 so put oh my god okay put 25 and then you can go ahead and put this one to be like red now for the second one you have to change the moving average to nine and i'm going to tell you guys why now as you can see right here the length is nine and um just put the length to be nine and then you can go ahead and put, and put this with any color that you like then pressing ok and then we actually have this now now why did i actually change this to nine now before i actually explain that let me explain the whole work of the moving averages now the work of the moving averages is to tell you the direction of the market so this simply means that whenever you see price below the moving averages it's trying to tell you to take a sell as you can see from right here in the market like and whenever you see price above the moving averages it's trying to tell you to take a buy in the market now what's the work of the 20 and the 9 moving average now the major one that actually shows the direction of the market is the 25 moving average now whenever you see price above the 25 moving average this is trying to indicate a buy and whenever price is below the 25 moving average it's trying to indicate a sell this is not exactly the same thing for the 9 moving average now the work of the 9 moving average is actually to give you a much more deeper signal now let's use this for example now as you can see right here price actually went below the 9 and the 25 moving average which is trying to signify a sell in the market now as you can see right here the sell happened and this is actually a good amount of profit now once price actually gets above the nine moving average this is trying to give you a signal that the market is about to retrace even more further and if price is even retracing more further where is it going to go to it's going to go to the 25 moving average then when price gets to the 25 moving average is at that point you see whether price is still going to go in that downtrend or maybe go up for that now this nine moving average has obviously saved you some pips of retracement in the market and as you can see right here price went below the nine moving average still the same thing we go ahead and take our trade to this point we could see at this point this point right here could be like asian session sydney session tokyo session so that's why the market actually halted there so if you could look at it we've already bagged another extra pips while saving ourselves the stress of losing pips during a retracement in the market so this nine moving average is actually a lifesaver now with this you can actually see that risk management is no longer an issue so if we were to use like our short position right here let's use this right here short position we've already seen that price is already reacting good to the 25 moving average at this point right here we can go ahead and take a sell let's say from this point you can go ahead and take a sell and keep stop loss above this point you know above um where price is already reacting to and target is where right here we could see this is actually a clear one is to two risking one percent of our accounts to make double of what we initially risked so if you guys like the video make sure you hit the like button and happy new year to you all i hope you guys you know achieve whatever you guys have already set for this year and if you guys are not a part of the family make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video.